Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Ali LaForce. We've got the Utah Jazz and the Los Angeles Clippers. So here are the Jazz starting five. Here's Stockton. Eaton passes to Malone. Just five on the clock. Here's Stockton. Let's the three fly. I'll tell you, you cannot shake Chris Paul when he's locked in. His defense is as good as it gets. To the middle. Ted Griffin slams it in. Such confidence as a passer. Hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Stockton has to Eaton. To the paint. Here's Danley. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Paul passes to Jordan, kicks it out to Barnes. Back to Jordan. Here's a three from Paul. Sends it home from three-point land. Boy, Chris Paul just locked in right there. Shot ready on the catch. Almost two minutes into the first here. Stockton passed him alone. Goes back up, and he sinks the layup. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. And here's Paul. Pass to Redick. It's Barnes on the wing. Screen by Griffin. The floater. Barnes, no good. Coach loves the execution, just not the result. That's okay. That's part of the process. Here's Stockton. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Stockton. Shoots over Paul. Shots good by Stockton. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Paul. The three from Redick. Stanley grabs a miss. A deep three. And Chris Paul clears it away. And it's Paul with the ball for Los Angeles. They trail by one. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Now here's Jordan. He's covered closely. Back to Paul. Set back! Utah ball. On offense, here's Utah. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Malone, pass to Maravich. To the right side. Here's Danley. He's guarded by Barnes. The shot by Danley, no good. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Slam dunk by Jordan. Well, we've seen this one or two times, have we not? DeAndre Jordan, finishing end of the alley-oop. Nice. Here's Maravich, still without a bucket. And another miss by Utah. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Paul with it. Outside Barnes. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Well, Chris Paul has made a living doing just this, finding the open teammate. Utah trailing here. 
pass to Malone. Here's Danley. Inside. And Malone gets it to go. This is just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. And so here are the Clippers. Paul passes to Redick. Fires for three. Rebounded by the Jazz. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Pass to Maravich. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Two shots. The first free throw is good. All right, the Jazz making a change here. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Outside Paul. Pass to Barnes. The three. Gets the three ball to go. Barnes has got six points. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Here's Stockton from outside the arc, and it falls. Two for three from the field so far. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Paul. Here's Jordan. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Stockton. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Malone. No good there. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. The Clippers in the lead. Pass to Paul. Griffin outside. Outside Barnes. Now here's Paul. Defense is right there. No dice from nine feet. They've been keeping things close. And now have a chance to jump back on top, B.A. Here's Malone. Defended by Griffin. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Well, they found a groove. And it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. First free throw is good. And the Clippers making a change here. falls so he hits both of them boy a really soft touch on display it is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate Paul passes to Crawford pass to Reddick six on the shot clock now here's Barnes out to the wing here's Crawford no good with the triple and the shooter had very little space on that attempt. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. Here's Maravich. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. Three shots.
That one misses. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Utah. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. And he nails the third. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. Redick outside. Pass to Jordan. Outside Paul. From deep. Rebounded by the Jazz. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot, <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. Here's Paul. And the 10-footer finds the target. Paul's got five now. Utah leading. Here's Maravich. He has six. The drive by Mitchell. Here's Malone. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Well, Donovan Mitchell excelling at taking what he sees in pick and roll. Reddick passes to Paul. Down low. It goes. He's made three shots in six attempts. <laughs> this night already has the makings of an offensive war. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. And Utah calls time here. Here's Maravich. Knocks down the triple. Maravich has got nine points. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Paul passes to Dudley. Back to Paul. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Chris Paul will go down as one of the great floor generals to ever play the game. He is the maestro at orchestrating offense. And a closer Take look a here at the scoring break. breakdown for the Jazz. Well, I, I like how focused they've been on getting the opposition into foul trouble, as well as coming through at the free throw line. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Four, four, four. 
Hall hits them both. Here's Maravich. Nine points in the game. Pass to Stockton. Here's Maravich. From downtown. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Outside call. Here's the three. Drains the triple. He's got 12. Look at Chris Paul getting aggressive. He's not going to let that three go unanswered. He's too competitive for that. Here's Stockton. He's got five. Picked by Gobert. The three is up. Stockton's shot is off. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Left side, Paul. Ball stolen. Here's Stockton. He's guarded by Paul. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. Here's Stockton. Shot clock at five. Counted from distance. Maravich has got 15. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. Outside Paul. 119 left in the first quarter. Pass to Granger. With the teardrop. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And there's the foul against Utah. At the line for two. Jamal Crawford. Shooting two. First one falls for him. That misses, so he splits the free throws. On offense, here's Utah, leading by five from deep three-point land. Granger grabs the miss. 59 seconds left to play in the first. Here's a three from Paul. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Well, we all know Chris Paul has a consistent three-point shot. Paul's gone five of eight from the field. Pass to Stockton. Here's Gobert. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And Utah leads by four. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Here's Turkaloo. To the inside. Shot is good. Dudley. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Maravich with the bucket. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Crawford. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. Jazz out in front, leading by just two. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this.
some good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And from what we've seen from the Jazz, what's your take so far? Well, we've watched them force their way to the line, and it seems to be working so far. And this is why coaches say be aggressive. As long as you're playing smart, good things tend to happen, even if you're on the road. And it's Paul with the ball for the Clippers. Trailing by two, taking a look at the Jazz. Left block shot on the way. It's blocked by Gobert. Almost inescapable, that seven foot nine wingspan. Send it back, big Rudy Gobert. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Here's Crawford, and he hits it to tie the game. Crawford's got five. The defense tightens up, so he adjusts. Nice play. Here's Stockton. The three ball. Granger grabs the miss. They set a pick. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Well, you can see why the defense dared him to shoot it. That's not really his spot. Maravich drops in the three. Maravich has got 20 points. Boy, he's been unconscious this quarter. I love the confidence he's playing with. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. The Jazz making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. Now into the lineup for the Jazz. Number 20, Gordon Hayward. Here's Granger. Still no points. Outside Paul. Shot clock at six. Pass to Turkaloo. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Utah leading. Here's Maravich. It's rebounded by Dudley. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Here's Turkaloo. Paul looking over the floor. Pass to Dudley. Fires the three. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got six assists in the game. Hey, the D's got to be better. I mean, that's a high-quality look for him. Here's Stockton. He's got five. Gobert up top. Stripped away. Here's Crawford. He's got five. Pass to Paul. Here's Granger. Turkaloo, the pass to Paul. Just five to shoot. Here's Dudley. Launches a three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Stockton. Fires the three. He drops it from range. Stockton's got eight points. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Paul. 15 points in the game. Here's Crawford. Launches it from deep. It's hauled in by Hayward. On offense, here's Utah. Pass to Stockton. Here's Maravich. And it's off from three-point range. What a nice individual defensive effort right there. Did a great job contesting. Crawford passes to Granger. Here's Crawford. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. 
Maravich, the pass to Gobert. Here's Maravich. Give him 20. Let's remember, Rudy Gobert, 7 1. Very hard to contest effectively. And he knocks down the first one. The Jazz making a switch here. And so Gobert nails both of them. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the LA Clippers. Pass to Redick. Back to Paul. And there it is for him. Paul's got 17 points. This guy is just so smooth offensively. The ability to get to the floater game for Chris Paul, so important. With the floater, and he lays it in. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. And here are the Clippers now. Paul passes to Redick. Back to Paul. Jordan, the screen. Down low. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. Maravich, the pass to Stockton. Here's Maravich. Pass to Boozer. To the paint. Maravich with the bucket. Maravich has got 24. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. So it's both teams making substitutions here. It's Barnes on the wing. Oh, there's the alley! And slammed up by Jordan. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Here's Danley. Stockton, pass to Boozer. Six to shoot. Here's Stockton. Shoots over Paul. Stockton's shot is off. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Now here's Paul. Defense right on him. Inside. Griffin. Basket's good. Griffin's gotten his second bucket. Boy, that bucket had a high degree of difficulty. Okay, Blake, we see you. Pass to Stockton. Stanley. Here's Maravich. Three-pointer, no good. The Clippers in the lead. Griffin finds Paul. Redick outside. Griffin outside. Here's Paul. The rebound by the Jazz. Here's Danley. Pass to Malone. Over Paul. And another miss by Utah. And here are the Clippers now. Griffin passes to Paul. Redick outside from 20 feet. The rebound by Malone. Here's Stockton. Give him eight. Here's Maravich. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. This is not the guy you want in your zip code when the ball is going up. DeAndre Jordan twice on the pipes. Now here's Paul. Tightly guarded. 
Reddick outside. Griffin outside. Pulls it from the top of the key. He got a piece of it. Here's Stockton. Watch the screen. Pass to Maravich. Reddick brings a double. Boozer passes to Malone. And they take the lead. Malone's got 10 points in the game. Well, there's an aggressive mentality in play. Working close, find a way to score. Griffin outside. Barnes with it. Jordan finds Paul. Pass to Griffin. Now here's Paul. Reddick outside. He shoots it. The shot misses. Utah leading. Here's Stockton. Here's Danley. Here's Malone. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Good decision making. Scopes the situation. Puts the pass right on the mark. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. So both teams changing it up here. Here's Collison. Griffin outside. Pass to Collison. Jacks up a three. Knocks it down from distance. Collison's got his first three points of the game. Darren Collison keeps himself ready to shoot. He's an opportunistic scorer. Here's Stockton. Here's Maravich. Marked by Redick. Launches it, drills it from deep. Maravich has got 10 points in the quarter. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Here's Collison. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Four. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. It is not easy trying to keep DeAndre Jordan off the boards. His combination of length and determination so impressive. Here's Danley. Barnes with the rebound. Oh, gritty defense, protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Reddick passes to Barnes, puts up a three, and Maravich pulls it down. And here are the Jazz. Pass to Stockton. The three is up. And again, it's Utah with a three. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Reddick outside. And here's Barnes. And he lobs it up to the rim. Tipped. We've got 33 seconds left in the second period. Here's Stockton. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Pass to Crawford. Three-pointer. Rebound, Utah. Eden's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Stockton. Right wing. Here's Malone. And the bucket is good. And now it's a 10-point Utah lead. 
They're beginning to take control now, and this could be a crucial point in the game. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. And so that's the end of the first half. Jazz out in front, leading by 10. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Now Los Angeles with it. It's a 10-point game. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Blake Griffin. Then there's Barnes. Then there's J.J. Redick. And it's Paul in at the point guard. That's Doc Rivers 5 as we get into the second half. Now here's Paul. John Stockton. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Now here's Paul, guarded closely. And here's Reddick for three. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Reddick's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Maravich, marked by Reddick. Maravich with the bucket. And Utah leads by nine. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now here's Reddick. Screen by Griffin. Picked it out of midair. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Here's Stockton. To the middle. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that one on DeAndre Jordan. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Second free throw, no good. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. And he's going for the oop here. And Griffin slams it in. Boy, you get a sense of the power and athleticism. Speed off his feet by Blake on that one. Here's Maravich, marked by Redick. For three. Connects from downtown. Maravich has got five points now in the quarter. 
and, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Now here's Griffin. Six points for him. And that one drops for him. Griffin's got eight. Well, Blake Griffin understands how to score through tough contests. Excellent finish inside. Pass to Eden. They set the pick. Here's Stockton. Here's Malone. 15 points in the game. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Outside Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. The three. It's hauled in by Eaton. Utah leading. Maravich, the pass to Malone. And it's Utah scoring again. This is what he gives you night in and night out. Stellar production at the offensive end. Outside Paul. Reddick outside. Screen by Griffin. Reddick passes to Griffin. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Eden. Here's Danley. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. And DeAndre Jordan gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Here's Eaton. He's scoreless. Five to shoot. Here's Malone, marked by Reddick. Malone can't get it to go. Now Griffin. Give him eight points now. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. You just get a sense how comfortable Blake Griffin is when he is near the cup. Makes it look effortless. Here's the pick. Danley passes to Malone. And down it goes. Two points. Malone's got five points now this quarter. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Well, debating the best players ever, there are different criteria. But Hall of Famer Dr. J said, quote, I think ultimately you have to have that crowning moment where you're a champion. And it's difficult. Sometimes it takes experiencing the loss and figuring it out before you can be successful. It's nothing you can assume or take for granted. Well, he got his at 83. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Paul. 17 points in the game. Barnes finds Jordan. Barnes the screen. Here's Paul. Unloads from 13. Griffin's shot is off. Here's Danley, covered by Jordan. Danley passes to Stockton. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got four rebounds now. Pass to Paul. Spins. Goes up at the stripe. Reddick outside. Now here's Barnes. Five on the clock. Reddick outside. With the clock winding down. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, that's about as high percentage as it gets for DJ. Go to work, big man. Pass to Danley. Here's Malone. Here's Stockton. He's got 14. Here's Eden. 
uses the glass on the layup. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Outside Paul. And he's going for the lob. And slam dunk by Jordan. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Here's Stockton. From the baseline, Griffin pulls down the board. The Clippers trail. Up top, Reddick. With the fadeaway. Griffin shot is off. Superb defense, guys. No way he's going to let him get off a clean look at the basket. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now here's Paul. Time out, time out. 17 points in the game. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Here's Paul. It's stolen. It's a one on one situation. Stockton, the pass to Maravich. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. And it's Paul with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Down by 12. Pass to Jordan. Redick outside. And here's Paul. Clock at six. From the arc. Utah with the rebound. Malone's got five rebounds tonight. Maravich, the pass to Stockton. Oh, swiped away. And here's Paul. He's got 17. Pass to Jordan. Now here's Redick. Back to Jordan. Five to shoot. Here's Griffin. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. Griffin's got eight points in the quarter. On offense, here's Utah. Here's Stockton. 14 points for him. Here's Malone. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Blake Griffin picks one up. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Utah. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. Well, I also notice, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. And he drops the first. Also good, so he hits both free throws. Here's Reddick trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Screen by Griffin. Here's Crawford. And the three off target. 
Crawford's gone three of eight tonight from the field. Kirilenko passes to Maravich. Hey, yo, right here. Going inside. Right and a nice finish on the layup. Maravich has got 10 points in just the second half. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. And Griffin slams it in. Oh, Blake Griffin at one time the best athlete in the league, showing off his skills athletically again. I love it. Here's Stockton, marked by Redick. Stockton has to Malone. Cash. He's 9 for 14 in the game. Sees his man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. Pass to Crawford. Screen by Griffin. Six to shoot. Here's Redick. Griffin finds Redick. Pulls up on the wing. And again, it's the Clippers. Here's Stockton. He's got 14. And there's a pick. Pass to Eden. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Down low. Maravich with the bucket. Maravich has got 39. He's carried this team to this lead on his back, handling almost all the scoring duties. Here's Crawford. He's got seven. Inside, here's Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Pass to Malone. Here's Stockton. Shoots over Redick, and there's another one for the Jazz. Yeah, just late help on the defensive side. I mean, just another breakdown for them. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. Here's Dudley. Give him eight points now. From behind the arc. And it's Kirilenko with a rebound. And the Jazz with possession here. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Pass to Maravich. Here's Malone. Here's Eden, defended by Griffin. Here's Maravich. Give him 39. He gets it in there. Up top, Reddick. Here's Crawford. Here's Griffin. And he can't bank that one in. Now, there's your rim protection. That's how you defend the post. Boy, he really anchors well on the block. Very difficult to back down. And so it's the Utah Jazz. Feeling confident. 18-point lead to end that quarter. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. We'll be back in a moment. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And Utah, looking at who they've got to start the fourth. To the left wing. Pass to Boozer. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. First team foul. Shooting for Utah. Carlos Boozer at the line for two.
Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And he misses the second one as well. So 0 for 2 that time. And so Paul will bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. It's an 18-point game. Driving to the basket. And the layup is good. Paul's got 19 points. Uh, how about the ability to knife inside the defense? Chris Paul has been outstanding as a dribble driver his entire career. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Maravich. Here's Eaton. And the layup is good off the glass. And Utah leads by 18. Well, they're trying to establish their attack down in the paint. And make no mistake, these help their overall confidence. Knock loose. Here's Maravich. And he banks in the layup. Maravich has got 43 points. You know, I like that recognition. He knows he's in rhythm, knows this is the time to give his team some punch. Turkaloo, the pass to Granger. It's tipped, and they recover it. Just five to shoot. Outside Paul. Let's it go from deep. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. Chris Paul under duress of the defense. What concentration. Pass to Eden. Here's Boozer. To the inside, Danley. Outside for Mitchell. Here's Maravich. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Eden. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second team foul. At the line for the Jazz. Mark Eaton, two shots. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Paul passes to Turkaloo. Here's Crawford. To the paint. Here's Hollins. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Mitchell, the pass to Maravich. Outside for Mitchell. Pass to Danley. To the inside. Eaton shot is good. And Utah leads by 18. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Here's Paul. Again, the Clippers score. Well, that's about Chris Paul getting to his spot and making the defense pay. This guy is lethal with his mid-range game. Timeout, timeout. Timeout called the Jazz. Started.
Clippers making a change here. Reddick's checked in. All right, the Jazz making a change here. It's gone here in the fourth. Pass to Maravich. And the foul on Chris Paul. That'll be a second foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Right side Mitchell. Here's Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. All too easy for Mr. Gobert in the painted area. Nicely done. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Clippers. They trail by 18. Come on, man. Who got the ball? From the wing. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Here's Kirilenko. Pass to Mitchell. Maravich, the pass to Gobert. Here's Kirilenko. He's guarded by Paul. A oh, nice shot by Kirilenko. Kirilenko's got his first bucket in this one. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Here's Crawford. Paul with it. Good on the bucket. Paul's got 26. Yeah, since he stepped between the lines of an NBA game, this guy has been consistently productive. Chris Paul doing work. Here's Maravich, and there's the lob, and Gobert with the stuff. Well, the seven-footer Gobert, the alley-oop finish, my goodness, the stifle tower with the score. Paul passes to Crawford. Looking to get back on track. Damn, that one's good. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play. First personal foul. Dudley, he's checked in for Los Angeles. At the line for your Clippers, Jamal Crawford. One shot. Utah with the ball. They led the game at one point by 20. Here's Stockton. He's guarded by Paul. Mitchell against Paul. Mitchell, good. That's about intense focus from Donovan Mitchell. That defense was outstanding. He just is better offensively. Paul passes to Granger. Now Redick over to the left wing. Here's Crawford, rebounded by the Jazz. Eden's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Danley. Pass to Stockton. Here's Malone, shot clock at six. Danley passes to Eden. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Reddick, left side. Paul with it. Come on, hey, it out. Oh. Deflected! And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here. Substitution on the court. their best effort on the interior but this guy just has an understanding of how to draw that contact 
the line for your Clippers, Blake Griffin. And he makes a first. I admire that Blake Griffin has a willingness now to play whatever role and contribute in whatever way he can to the success of this group. That's big time. And that's good as he hits both shots. On offense, here's Utah. They lead by 17. Outside Mitchell. Eaton's shot is good. Eaton's got seven now in this quarter. Well, he may be a top scorer, guys, but Donovan Mitchell is not selfish. What a pretty pass. Now Paul. Pass to Granger. Inside. Here's Griffin. And he makes it on the layup. Griffin's got 20. Yeah, Blake Griffin has turned himself into a three-level scorer, and he is giving it to the defense right now. Outside Mitchell. Here's Stockton. He's guarded by Paul. Stockton pass to Malone. He got right to the cup using that screen. Well, that's almost an impossible screen to fight through, and he gets a wide open look because of it. The Clippers making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. One shot. One shot. The Clippers really having a tough go here. Hey, yo, get on Chris. Oh. Now here's Paul. Pass to Redick. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Paul. Jordan. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. About the reach of DeAndre Jordan. That looked darn near impossible. Here's Stockton. Pass to Marovich. Here's Eden. Here's Dantley. Barnes with the rebound. Dantley's gone two of six here tonight from the field. And he lobs it up. Jordan finds Reddick. Now Griffin. Down low. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, fantastic feed from the big man. Blake Griffin's feel for when his guys are open is truly special. And the Jazz with possession here. They led the game at one point by 20. Here's Stockton. Oh. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. It goes on Chris Paul. Shooting for Utah. John Stockton. Three shots. Three shots. Three shots. And he hits the first of three. And he sinks the second. And he makes all three. 
And so Paul will bring it up for the Clippers. 19-point game. It's Barnes on the wing. Griffin, left side. Back to Barnes. Six on the shot clock. Outside for Redick. There's the triple. And the Clippers hit again from deep. The form, the mechanics, everything about Redick's jump shot is poetry in motion. Here's Stockton. He's guarded by Paul to the middle. Here's Malone. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Malone's got five points now this quarter. Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. Now here's Paul. He's guarded closely. Pass to Barnes. Beyond the arc. Nails it from three. The threat of a shot by Reddick draws so much gravity, it can really mesmerize the defense. Here's Danley. He's guarded by Barnes. Here's Danley. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And here's Paul. High arcing shot from seven. And it's rejected. Maravich, the pass to Stockton. Here's Eaton. Here's Stockton. Pass to Maravich. Fires from deep. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now here's Paul. Griffin finds Jordan. Outside Paul. Jordan, the screen. 4-3. And that's good. Chris Paul for three. Paul's got 12 points now in the quarter. Well, to a good point guard, running the pick and roll in the NBA is second nature. Chris Paul's been doing this a long, long time. Here's Stockton. Here's Maravich. And again, it's Utah with a three. Looking to close things out. That might have been the nail in the coffin. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Here's Paul. Jordan, the pass to Griffin. And the Clippers again with a bucket. When Blake Griffin entered the league, you didn't have to guard him on the perimeter. But how comfortable is he right there in the mid-range? That's because of the work put in, guys. Here's Stockton to the paint. Malone. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Here's Stockton. 36 seconds left in the game. To the left side wing. Takes the three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. The defense really fell apart there. You can't afford to leave them all alone at the arc. Redick outside. Down low. Outside Barnes. Redick outside. Releases. Good. He hits the jumper. Here's Maravich. So we see the Jazz taking the W here. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that about wraps it up. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson.